At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. So Jesus is going from a place where there's a bunch of outsiders, Samaria, the Jews didn't like them, and he's coming down to basically his home area. And he knows that when he comes back, he's not going to be received super well, that a prophet is never welcomed in his native place. And yet he goes anyway. Why? Because the reason he's going there isn't for a big reception. The reason he's going there isn't to be praised or to be honored. He's going there because he has a mission. That he's called, that he has come in order to proclaim the kingdom of God, to preach the gospel to everyone, even though some of them aren't going to receive it well and eventually he's going to be put to death for it. He knew that, but he went anyway because his, his purpose was not to get praise. It was to accomplish his mission. I think that's a great thing for us to reflect on today. Are we that committed to our mission, to whatever God has entrusted to each and every one of us? Or do we sometimes get easily sidetracked by the praise or the lack thereof? Why do we do the things that we do? Do we do it sometimes thinking like, oh, well, maybe so-and-so will see me. Maybe they'll say, hey, like, I really admire this about you or that you do this. Why do we share some of the things we do? Are we looking for praise for others? Or are we really looking to accomplish the mission, to be as committed as Jesus is? The reality is we probably have a mix of both in us. And so today, let us ask the Lord to purify our intentions, that the reason that we follow him, that it not be to get praise from others, to not do it just when it's easy, but to also do it when it's difficult, to follow him, to be fully committed to our mission just as Christ is.